In 2003, an astonishing discovery was made during the construction of a car park next door to the Vatican Museums. A tomb was found, and inside it, the skeletons of over 200 Romans. Like most Romans, they were pagan. The coffin of a young knight found here caught the attention of archaeologist Dr. Gian Domenico Spinola. This cavalier, on Publio Cesilio Victorino, very young, 17 years old, he is the last one to be sepolto in this tomb here. It seemed like a regular pagan coffin. We have seen here the dedication of the mani of Publio Cesilio Victorino. But the dedication is the mani of Publio Cesilio Victorino. This is something that is typically pagan. But there are other figures which are not seen anywhere else in these pagan tombs. Un orante con le mani così e un filosofo con i rotoli in mano, anche dei fini sulla cassa, sul coperchio, ci hanno suggerito potesse essere cristiano. In those early years, Christianity was adopting many of the pagan symbols. But this one, the orante, the praying woman on the knight's coffin, is the only one of its kind in the entire necropolis, even though it's found quite often in Christian burials of the time. Researchers believe the Orante might be an expression of the knight's Christian faith. Christians' belief in one god was considered a threat by Roman leaders. The Romans had a certain problem with Christians because Christians would not worship other gods. For the Romans, that was really tantamount to treason. Perhaps the key to our knight's story lies in the period during which he was buried. When this tomb is completely closed, we are close to Diocletiano, and Diocletiano was the last emperor who made a great persecution in Rome. It was not a good time to be a Christian. Young Publius was buried during the most violent religious purge in the history of the Roman Empire. His family may have added a pagan inscription to an otherwise Christian sarcophagus to disguise his true religious identity and protect them from persecution. Only decades after the knight's death, under the emperor Constantine, Christianity became legal, and this pagan necropolis was abandoned. Maybe the knight Publius was the first and last secret Christian ever buried here.